Hello everybody, I am back vlogging again. Apologies that I haven't made a video in so long since I got back from Croatia. Basically, I've been working every day, uh, temping for Oak Dean who um, worked with not on the high street, so I've been doing that every day. And ba lots of babysitting too, and also lots of knitting. Oh, yeah, so I knitted Louise and Dan both each a hat in one day, and I took it around and surprised them, So, and I, and I filmed their reaction, so here's that. Closed. They're closed, they're definitely closed. closed. Yeah, closed. 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 Wait a minute. So, okay, open. Hey! Yes! Oh, nice one. <laughs> I'll crown you and you crown me. I go on the, over, you go on the. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! That's very sweet. <laughs> but there's another reason that I haven't been vlogging, and that is that I have been really grumpy recently. And I think I know the reason. So, if you don't like period talk, or you are my dad, or my granddad, you might want to fast forward a little bit. But basically, for the last five years, I have been on a contraceptive pill. But the way that it reacted with my body was that I didn't have a period at all, which was okay. So, um, I haven't had a period for five years. Anyway, I went to the doctor just before New Year, and she said, mm, five years is quite a long time. I'd recommend you go on a break for a couple of months just to check that everything's working fine down there. So I did that at New Year, and I've just had my first period. So, building up to this moment, I've been very grumpy, and I I can only blame it on the hormones, but today, when it arrived, when Mother Nature came a knocking, I'm in such a good mood today. But it might also be because it's sunny today. But um, that is why I haven't vlogged in about a week. So I'm glad we got that sorted. Welcome back, Dad and Granddad. We can continue with our video now. Today, this morning, I have been working again, but I only did a half day, which was such a treat. I'm just having a dreamy day so far. At three o'clock, I'm going to my sister's school because I'm helping her do all of her displays, re redo all of her displays. You know when you're in primary school and you have those displays that are coloured paper and then corrugated cardboard colour border? I used to love doing them. I used to, like, beg the teachers to give me the staple gun and let me go and redo the board in the corridor. Anyway, Louise knows how much I love to do them and she hates doing them so she's asked me to go in at about three o'clock to redo all of her boards for her next term which is cool and exciting and I'm looking forward to doing that and then a little bit later I'm babysitting but between the, now and then and then and then who knows also I forgot to mention last night mum me Lou and Dan went to a bar in Haywards Heath to see a live band and they were called Iron Tiger and they were like a rock tribute band and they were so good and I was saying on my Twitter about it but like every time I see live music I always leave like being really jealous of them all being like oh I wish I'd have played an instrument or like I wish I'd pursued those clarinet lessons in year four <laughs> It's time for school! I think I've got to go and get a visitor badge. I don't know how to get in. That's two boards finished. I did ask why I'm doing black, by the way, because I thought, surely you want a more, like, colourful, cheery classroom, but her next term is based on a spider poem, so everything is going to be spider themed. So, um, yeah, that's why they're black. Also, shout out to Beach Class, hope you all have a really, really nice half term, and that you appreciate your new black boards when you come back next term. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. I'm home from school. That was quite nice. I need to decide what to have for dinner. I'm not very hungry, which is very unlike me. Birdie, come say hi. Oh yeah, oh I need to show you, wait a second. So Burley had 13 of his teeth taken out and they have to, they had to like shave his little arm um, to put like a drip in or whatever when he was anaesthetised, look. You got little shaved arms. I'm gonna make a chilli con carne and I'm craving really, really salty rice and garlic bread. Yum. Oh, yum, 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 yum. It has just turned 10.30 and I am home from babysitting. The kids were really good tonight. They went to bed really well, which I was very pleased about. I also have to look after their dog, Poppy, who is an ex-greyhound racer, I think. But she's in season at the moment. Uh, a bit like me. <laughs> when I was putting the kids to bed, uh, she wet herself on the lounge floor. And I only found out when I came down and stepped in it in my socks. So I've got some soggy socks. <laughs> and had to clean up a dog wee wee. I've just got home though, and mum is still awake, to my surprise. Usually she goes to bed at like 8.30, but 
it's 10 30 and she's still awake so i'm gonna go downstairs and chill with her for a bit before bed but i thought i would say goodbye here so thank you so much for watching good night